Are you getting me now? Now, work with everybody with love and unity. No discrimination. You have to work with everybody with love, with unity. You humble yourself and make sure that you work with all. You may see different character. You may see different attitude. They may say different thing. You may see different behavior. Make sure you control your temperament. Because it happened before in the days of Jesus Christ. And human being must surely be human being. Try to have patience so that God will see you through. The key of this church should be under your care. The key, I mean the key. The bad Lord, the key of the church will be under your care. So that you will now see that you open the church at every services and then you make sure that everything is working fine because when the pastor calls, he will be calling you. What is going on? How is everything? So that you'll be able to give the report of everything that is going on here. Are you hearing me now? So, of Christ's chosen church of God. You have to work with this constitution, you don't have your own constitution. Whatever you do should be the practice of the church. Are you getting me now? Should be the law, this is the law that guiding the church, and whatever you do should follow the law and the doctrine of Christ's chosen church of God. So whatever you don't understand, you ask the question, you ask the pastor a question, whatever you don't understand. Are you hearing me now? So that God will see you through. It is not by power, it's not by mind. It is by the grace of God. And I use this opportunity also to advise every one of us that he cannot work alone. He need all your cooperation. You have to cooperate with him. Don't see him as just, is he not the same, Marvel, is he not the same? He's now elder Deacon. Marvelous attacker is being now recognized by the authority of the church. Work cooperatively with him, make your suggestion, make your contribution, work with love together because a tree cannot make a forest. Work in unity. Whenever he stands to preach, he stands to advise, he stands to instruct, let us work together with him. He's not the one that appointed himself. He's the higher authority that appointed him. And when you disobey him, you are disobeying the authority that appointed him. He's standing in the office of a pastor and the apostle and the authority of the church. So when you disobey him or when you try to do something to make him fail or to frustrate his effort, then that means you are working against the authority. So, I want the church here in New Jersey to cooperate with him. He may not have all the knowledge. Cooperate with him. If you obey him, you are obeying God. If he has any grievances, you have any grievances against him in one way or the other, this is the day to say no. Let all the things get out of my mind. The office that is possessing now, like the Bible calls it the office of a bishop, which is the deacon. So I'm appealing to you, to every member of this church, men and women, boys and girls, please cooperate with him. Because if he succeeds, it is the church that succeeds. In every area, he may need advice, from you, whenever they have a meeting to discuss on certain things, they should not render abuse or insult or whatever, fight whatsoever. Let us do all with love. And know that whatever we do is for the progress, is for the growth of the church of God. And you also work with everybody. Take them as your brother, your sister, your mother, your friend, your everything. You are not a shepherd. And they are your sheep. In any question you have, call me. By the grace of God, 
as a pastor in charge of this, this area, call me. Whatever you want to do, let me know. Are you getting me now? So that we, are, we work together and the thing will work out. Any instruction from authority or from the zonal office or from the area office to you, make sure you keep it and follow it up. Because obedient is better than sacrifice. Are you getting me now? Pastor the people to God and not to yourself. I repeat, pastor the people to God. Don't pastor them to yourself. What does that mean? Let them do what God wants them to do. Tell them the way of salvation, the way of peace, the way of love, everything. You are not a boss. You are a servant. Just like as I am standing before you. I am a servant. I am not a boss. So you are not a boss. You are a servant. They may match you. They may do this, but bear it. Just take it as your children. The other day when you bring your children to church, all of them jump on your body. This one hold you here. This one hold you here. Are you going to throw them away? No. You accommodate all of them. Are you hearing me now? Expect criticism. Expect lies. Expect everything. When it happen, don't take us strange. Know that a leader must open to all. As God has given me the authority. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir, but can I say something before you continue? Yes, why is it? Praise the Lord, Church. Hallelujah. I, I want to say something. I am happy for the honor that God has given to me. I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not an author. Uh, I believe also that our God is not an author of confusion. Okay, before then. Let us finish this. Okay. Then it will be the vote of thanks or response. Okay? okay? So let me finish the assignment I was giving. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now kneel down. In the name of God the Father. Amen. Of the Son. Amen. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I stand in the office as a servant to the elect of God, the spiritual leader of Christ's chosen Church of God International, Senior Apostle Dr. David E. O. Umeve Igwewu, JP AFP, the elect of God. I anoint you today with this oil you gave to me to anoint you as a deacon of this great church here in New Jersey. Father, in your name and in your power, here is your son, Elder Marvelous Ataga. On the 27th day of the month of September, through your servant, the elect of God, the spiritual leader of this great commission, Senior Apostle Dr. David Ulwefe Gwiwu, you appoint your son, Elder Marvelous Ataka, to be a deacon of this church here in New Jersey. And so, Lord, today he asked me to come and officially anoint him and pray for him so that he will start up this work as you have given to him. And so, my Lord, I stand under this authority and lay my hands on you in the name of God the Father mm -hmm. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, being the first Sunday, the second day in the month of October 2022, we are hereby anointed and prayed for to resume the office of a deacon as God has favored you. I pray for more wisdom. I pray for grace. I pray the Lord will protect you. The Lord will guide you. The angel of the Lord will camp around you. May the Lord give you knowledge and give you wisdom for you to carry on this work. My God and my Father, He has no power of Himself. Father, Lord, I pray. 
you that have given him this office, you will give him the grace, the power, that the enablement for him to carry on this assignment. Your children are here as a witness. And so, Lord, I pray, hide him in the holders of your hands. Preserve him, O God Almighty. Stand by him, stand for him, and stand with him. Amen. My God, I pray, in the day, in the night, no weapon, form of fashion against you shall prosper. Amen. No arrow, no bullet of the enemy shall succeed over your life. Amen. May the Lord hide you in the holders of his hand Amen. and preserve you. Amen. The God will make your head to be above the reach of the enemy. Amen. Will make you to be the head Amen. and never be the tail. Amen. Today, in the name of God the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. you are being anointed as a deacon of this church here in New Jersey, Christ Student Church of God, from this day upwards. And may the grace of God rest upon you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. For I pray and I believe. It is done. Amen. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Akma, hold on. Can you stand up? Hallelujah. Can you stand up, officer?